Hey, how you guys doing? It's Emilio Rivera. And tonight I'm going to talk about uh, my introduction to Tierra. You know, first time I heard Tierra, I was uh, I was cruising down the boulevard, with your Boulevard, 1982, and uh, every lowrider that was on that boulevard that night was playing this new jam called uh, "Together." Now, I'm the kind of guy that I don't like to hear people remake songs, you know, because usually it's, it sounds the same or it's done wrong. But what happened with this song, you know, uh, they made it their own. You know, so even though I try not to like it, I fell in love with it. You dig what I'm saying? And that song "Together" by Tierra became a uh, one of my favorites to to this day. You know, and um, so you know when you start when you hear music that um, that you like, you want to dig deeper into who's singing this. You know, and then I find out it's a uh, Chicano brothers together, Salas brothers, Steve and Rudy. Now, if you know Steve and Rudy, which I didn't know at the time, but if you start doing the research, they go back to when they were kids, man. You dig what I'm saying? So. That even made like, you know, how strong our, our Chicano culture is and for them to cross over, you know, into a, a tough business as it is. And then, and then I see them on American Bandstand. I mean, for me, if you were on Dick Clark's American Bandstand, you made it, you dig what I'm saying? And uh, so it, it was, I was proud to see my gente, my people on that stage that day when I did see them, because they, they had announced the week before that they were going to be on there. So I, I couldn't wait to see it, man. And when I saw it, uh, uh, it made me proud. You know what I'm saying? And you know, it's really a trip because, you know, all these years later, because you know, just about every Chicano wedding, they play always and forever, or they play together. It's just, it just, it just. I'm not just saying Chicano; it could be any wedding. I'm just saying that weddings that I go to, and uh, it's just like a, a trademark song. You know, and it's a trip, man, because you know. As time went on, I got into comedy, I got into acting, and, uh, and then uh, I was asked to go open up for Tierra. So it was like, a, you know, they, they seem excited to have me, but they don't know that I was more excited to be with them. You know what I mean? And it was like a, it was like a, a full circle for me. It was like, a, you know, here I am on the boulevard, 1982, strolling, the, you know, walking up and down the street, hearing together, and now I'm going to be opening up for Rudy Salas. And theater, you dig what I'm saying? Uh, that's a that's a full circle for me, you know. That's a it's a blessing. Tierra was born in 1972 in East Los Angeles. Created out of the Chicano movement and the civil unrest that followed. Tierra's music was more a reflection of the social and cultural changes taking place in Los Angeles and around the country. It took two LPs in nine years before Tierra, deciding to change their musical style, exploded on the national music scene with the recording of Together. In 1980, as the band was busy doing the club scene on the east side, they decided to record a new LP. That LP was City Nights, their million-selling jewel. But it wasn't an instant hit. Leader Rudy Salas shopped the LP to every label in Los Angeles and got turned down by every one of them. So Tierra decided to release it themselves. Rudy, not to be discouraged, sold the LPs out of his van and worked out deals with record stores, Lowrider Magazine, and local radio stations. Before you knew it, the very same companies that turned Tierra down were bidding for the group. The City Nights LP was on the Billboard national charts, even before Tierra had a record deal. Together, the single was a national hit. Tierra selected to go with Neil Bogart, former president of Casablanca Records and his new label, Boardwalk Records, and the rest, as they say, is history. Tierra was named Best New R&B Vocal Group in 1981 by Billboard magazine for producing classics like Together, Gonna Find Her, Memories, and many others. They were the only band to have three songs on the national charts and two on the top 40 simultaneously. The band's 40-year commitment shows a dedication that can only be understood by listening to their unique sound. 1981 is going to be the year for Tierra. <laughs> Tierra. 1980 was the debut year for a hot new group and a brand new sound. Their record together is a smash hit. Please give an all-out welcome to Tierra. In 1981, Tierra hit the TV circuit, appearing on the American Music Awards, American Bandstand, 
Soul Train, Solid Gold, The Mike Douglas Show, and The Merv Griffin Show. They are also featured on Two on the Town on CBS Channel 2 in Los Angeles. Hey everybody, this is comedian, actor, and acrobat Rudy Moreno. Just wanted to say hello and congratulations to Tierra. I've known these guys practically my entire life. I remember when the first album came out in 1971-72. An amazing album because these guys were young musicians and they were doing incredible music for guys that were so young. I mean, they were including Motown influence. They were doing jazz, rock, Latino music, Afro-Cuban music. It just, you know, the result was just an amazing album. Uh, they are our heroes in Los Angeles. And in 1980, 1981, they recorded City Nights and had a huge hit with Together, which were, went worldwide, nationwide, and everybody knew about them. So I'm very, very proud of them. Uh, Rudy and Steve Salas have been doing this for a long, long time. In fact, Rudy Salas was my first manager. In fact, he was responsible for my career as a comedian. Yeah, it's his fault. So if you've been to my shows and heard my shows, then you can talk to Rudy about that. But I want them to continue, have continued success, and I hope they remain in my life forever. Thank you, guys. Tierra was named the best R&B vocal group nationally in 1981 by four of the leading music industry magazines including Billboard magazine. They started their career in East Los Angeles with a blend of rock, pop, jazz, and Latin music. The result was a sound which produced such classics as Together, Gonna Find Her, Memories, Zoot Suit Boogie, and many others. Founded in 1972 by Rudy Salas and his brother Steve, the band continues to perform to this day their unique, smooth, and soulful sound. Tierra was the only Latino band to have four songs on the national pop and R&B charts and two simultaneously in the top 100. They have performed at such prestigious venues and such TV shows as American Music Awards, American Bandstand, Soul Train, and the most prestigious of all, Carnegie Hall. Tierra has shared the stage with such legendary artists as Michael Jackson, Diana Ross, Bruce Springsteen, Lionel Richie and the Commodores, Chicago, and many other great artists. In the mid-90s, Tierra was asked by none other than the godfather of soul himself, James Brown, to back him up at his commemoration of his induction into the Hollywood Walk of Fame at the Billboard Live nightclub in Hollywood. He subsequently took them on tour and Tierra backed him up on the Dennis Miller TV show. Tierra has played a role in opening doors for Latino artists and non-Latino superstars, including Paul Rodriguez, Arsenio Hall, Sheila E., Gloria Stefan, Los Lobos, Jose Mali, and of course, Latino Comic of the Year, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Rudy Moreno. My name's Danny Trejo, and uh, let me tell you a little bit about Tierra. I first heard Tierra in 1972 when it first busted out, and uh, I can remember when they really hit, was like 1980, with uh, Together and uh, Memory. I'm thinking of covering that myself, but memories and uh, you know what it's like they brought so many Chicanos back into the fold and their music was really the start of Chicano soul because before that we would either listen to Mexican music or uh, the Beatles or the Stones you know uh, and uh, all that weird kind of stuff but I honestly believe that they just started Chicano soul and uh, God we love that music I uh, I can remember cruise nights, and that's all you'd hear, man, of you, Whittier Boulevard and, and on uh, Van Nuys Boulevard, everywhere they were cruising, all the way up Story and King in San Jose, you would hear a memory <laughs> on the on the tape deck or the record player. And uh, my name's Danny Trejo, and I approve this message. My name's Danny Trejo. And I want to introduce you to the one and only Tierra.
Congratulations, Rudy Salas and Tierra Ben, on your 48th anniversary in the music business. You are one of the most enduring and successful band from Los Angeles, California. Many more blessings and continued success. Those are the wishes from your friend, tu carnalito, little Joe. Keep going, Rudy. If you haven't heard Tierra, which if you haven't, you must be living underneath the rock. But uh, if you do, uh, to hear the record is one thing, but when you hear them live, and then they just keep on playing and playing, it's just a, it, it brings, it gives, it brings a, it bring, it'll bring out an emotion in you. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm proud to say, uh, you know, Rudy Salas and uh, Tierra, the are friends of mine, and uh, I'm glad to have them here.